Today I'm just going to talk about how to create a GitHub Actions that are custom. There are a lot of actions that are available in the marketplace, but there are some times that you wanted to do a custom action. So there are various ways to do it, but the one that I like the most is the one that you can use a Docker container and then you can run a program in a Docker container, install a dependencies and then run this action. As a Python programmer, I like to use Python scripts to have a custom action. So I'm just going to give you an example in this video. How can you do a custom GitHub actions using Docker and run a Python script? I'll give you a more realistic example. As I'm a data engineer, uh, I use the Databricks API to do things in Databricks. In this example, I'm just going to create a GitHub Actions in Python that call the Databricks API just list clusters. Maybe it's not so practical, but I'm just going to give you a simple example and then you can give like creativity to use the same template to do the action that you need when it comes to automating something in Databricks when you build a pipeline. So let's get started. So I'll start from scratch here on my command line. I'll create a directory. I'll see the into it. Now I'm just gonna open VS Code. In VS Code, like to create a GitHub Actions, it's not the goal of this video, but you know how to do it. You create like a folder called GitHub. Within the GitHub, you have the workflows. And here you're going to put your workflows. To create a custom actions, you have to create another folder within the same GitHub folder called actions. Within there, you can create many actions but in our case you have to create another folder and then you give the name the name of your action for this example i'm just going to give you a list clusters all right let's first create a python file just to test this if you see on the documentation i have this databricks api endpoint here and if you call this as a get request, you get a list of the clusters of your Databricks workspace. I have this Python code here that I'm going to walk you through. So I'm going to import OS requests and create a function called list clusters. So I'll get the environment variables that I'm going to show you how to get them from a Docker file in the custom action and then I'm just gonna create the headers for my request with my Databricks token and I'll explain you how to get the token and I'll go step by step and then I'll create the string to do the API call I do the API call using the library requests and then I handle a little bit of error here then I run the function so that's gonna be the script that's gonna run my action and I'm gonna take two inputs my workspace URL and the Arabic token and the output it's gonna be list the clusters if there is any error it's gonna print the error so let's test this for this I have to install requests so you see that I have those two environment variables. I'm just going to create an M file here with this first one is the input workspace URL and the next one is that one, which is the input that I token. So for the inputs workspace URL, you can get from your workspace in Databricks and the token you can generate in Databricks. To generate your token, you go on Settings, Developer, 
access tokens, generate token. I'm just going to give an invite API. And I'm just going to let for one day generate, copy this value. Initialize those environment variables. I'm just going to do a source env. All right, they should be working now. I'm going to run this Python package here. It should list the clusters that I have here. On this workspace, I only have one cluster. It's called GitHub Actions. And it's running at the moment. Yes, it's working. Here's the information about the cluster. You can see that the creator is here, the cluster ID, uh, and the cluster name. Yeah, it's here, GitHub Actions. All right, so how can you transform this into a action? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this into this folder here, and that one there as well. I'm just copying the requirements and the list clusters. So what I have to do, because I'm building this in a Docker file, I have to create a Docker file here. And the Docker file, it's gonna be a very simple one, Python 3, you copy a requirements, .txt file, you pip install the requirements, you copy your list cluster.py script, and then you run the command Python list clusters. That's going to execute your script. Another thing that you have to do, and that's the most important part, you have to create a action settings file and in that same folder. And the name of this file needs to be action YAML because it's a YAML file. So you can see more about this in the documentation here. What needs to go here, you can have input, output, and then running as well. Uh, and then I'll show you how to do it step by step. Okay, let's go step by step. You have to have a name. In this case, I'm giving a name. List clusters, a description. Then it says, runs you want to run this in using docker and the image is going to be a docker file that's the minimal requirement but sometimes you want to put some inputs in my case i'm going to input a database, doc, database, database token and i have a description and that's required it says to true so you have to pass it and then I also wanted to pass a workspace URL, which is going to be a workspace URL. And it's also required. So that's all the minimum that I have to do. Create a file called, call it this clusters. So in the workflow file, so I'm just going to correct here this needs to be workflows. So on the workflows file, you will need, on your workflows, on your workflow file, you will need a name. I'm just calling custom action docker. And that's gonna trigger on master. The job gonna be list clusters, runs on Ubuntu latest. And then I can have steps. And I'm gonna check out. I'll put version four. And I have list clusters here. And then instead of running, I'm gonna do a uses. So that's gonna be GitHub actions list clusters. And I'm gonna pass the parameters here with which is going to be is data bricks data 
Bricks token, that's correct, but it's not dash, I think it's underscore. And I'm just gonna start that in secrets. And the next one is works is URL. But this one, I don't need to give. Um, and this one I just came past the string, it's not a secret. You can keep it a secret, but in my case, it's no problem. All right, I think that's all. Um, just because I'm gonna check in that to GitHub, I'm gonna put a git ignore file here. Good, just gonna initialize this git and do a first commit. So I get the first commit in my master. I'm just gonna go to my GitHub account, create a new repository. This new repository is gonna be called GitHub custom docker. I'll put it public because I already have one. I'm just gonna add the remote to the current. And that should trigger the action. I think it's gonna fail because I haven't created the environment variable, the secret. All these clusters not found. So there may be a typo here. But before that, let, let's just create the secret. So I go here to secret and variables actions. And then I have to create that secret. Let's get the name. Databricks token. The post our secret. And the token is a secret. Let's see what's the error with the name of the file. List clusters. Is that correct? Then? Um, yeah, I think I have a. Let me just fix this one, which is better. It's underscore and should be underscore here. Right, let's commit this one. Let's follow it closely. Start to build the Docker file. The checkout here is pointless because I have no code, but anyway, I have him having it. Yeah, can you see here that it ran successfully? And keep the name of the cluster. Where is it? Yeah, it's here. GitHub Actions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, and if there are any questions, please put on the comments below. And I'll put on the description of this video the GitHub folder, um, the GitHub repository, so you can test yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and see you next time.